All right, Ronan MMA, welcome back to the channel. Now, it has been a long time since we've spoken about the progressive ogre of MMA YouTube, and that is MMA Joey. Now, I was trying to just lay off for a little bit because I didn't want to just only do those kinds of videos, okay? But since my last one, the guy has grown pretty significantly, both in size and also the size of his channel. So good for him, okay? He's past the 20,000 subscriber mark, and I believe it is in large part to the pandering that he does to a more progressive audience, and that includes certain fan bases, whether it be the giant Muslim fan base, whether it be the people that are upset about homophobia, transphobia, and all this shit, or people that like to complain about racism, uh, racism, pardon me, on a daily basis, because this is essentially a huge chunk of his content. We're going to get to that because he has just recently done a video in which he has called UFC fans xenophobic, okay, for not liking certain fighters based on where they come from. So I'm just going to show you guys. I just typed in Islam on his channel in the search portion, and this is how many videos came up, okay? Now we have got this was from two weeks ago. Islam taken out of context by hateful and biased UFC fans. Unjustified hate. Okay, and then we continue down. Dagestani hate. This is from seven months ago. Islam Makachev is the most underappreciated champion in UFC. Whatever. Blah, 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 blah. Three days ago, xenophobic UFC fans hate on Dagestani fighters with false narratives, which are not really all that false. But uh, for some reason, this guy just can't comprehend that some people and some cultures and some personalities are not going to mesh with the American or North American fan base or whatever you want to call it. Okay, and then we continue down the list. Okay, we continue down. We will find pretty soon there was another thumbnail I saw talking about Muslim hate and all this shit. Right. It's a it's a theme. Right. The real reason MMA fans won't accept Islam Makachev's win at UFC 284, hated for being Muslim, okay? This is, as I said, the theme of this. And in his recent xenophobia video, the guy tries to go... He It's 30 minutes long, by the way. Could have been done in about 15, but regardless, dude. He calls the premise that Dagestani fighters get privilege a fallacy. Now, usually you would refer to an argument to defend the premise uh, fallacious in nature or a fallacy, but regardless, dude, that doesn't really matter. I've said this from the beginning, ever since Corey Sanhagen and Umar Nurmagomedov was announced, we should not be shitting on Umar Nurmagomedov or Dana White in the UFC for this matchup because the person that actually called for it was Corey Sanhagen. Now, something that could be viewed a little bit as Dagestani privilege, I guess, is the fact that Corey Sanhagen, while called called him out and wanted that fight, specifically said he didn't want it in Abu Dhabi, okay? Which MMA Joey goes on to also act as though this is a ridiculous argument, that this is some sort of home field advantage for them, as if they aren't treated differently there, as if the commission isn't going to favor Muslim fighters a little bit over there, and things like that, but whatever, dude, right? That's, that's not the point. Now, I'm sick and tired of people like him, dude, who have, unfortunately, a pretty large audience at this point. Not for his own success, but the fact that he is now spewing out this fucking retardness. Okay, I don't even know if that's a word. To a larger audience, and then there's going to be people that go and spread that all over the place. Dude, Islam Makachev, not him necessarily, but the Dagestani fan base, or I'll just say it, dude, because fuck it. The Muslim fan base are some of the most sensitive people on the internet point blank period in almost every single aspect of almost every single subject of video that you could imagine if if islam gets brought up at all in a negative light and i'm not talking about the fighter right now they go fucking crazy okay this is part of the reason why i think so many fans dislike them okay i don't think it's because we're xenophobic but also something i want to point out this fucking mongoloid okay this grifting mongoloid. First of all, I would like him to participate in Ramadan next year because I think it might do him some good. And I think that he's got enough fat stored up that he could absolutely last a month. But that's besides the point. This guy acts as if this isn't a sport. Okay? As if every other sport on the face of the planet, it's completely and totally acceptable to root for your own guy. Do you know what I mean? People don't typically root for people that are not, you know, fr like, bro. If you're in Brazil and you go there as an American, you will get booed. They will chant, you will die. They will root for their guy and that's that. But for some fucking reason, when this takes place in the West, whether it be the UK, whether it be America, whether it be Canada, it gets labeled as like racism and homophobia and fucking Islamophobia and all this bullshit, xenophobia, right? There was a point in time where he would literally refer to the fans not liking Dagestani fighters as racist, as if they aren't the whitest people on the face of the fucking planet, okay? And then you see dumb fucks in his comment sections talking about how Islam Makachev is not white, 
They're from the Caucasus, for crying out loud. So now he's just changed it up, and now it's xenophobia, okay? Again, as if this isn't fucking sport, right? This is sport. You are going to root for the person that you feel closest to, whether it be geog uh, geographic, like, you know, fucking in nature, or whether it be, I don't know, dude, or whether it be um, culturally, or whether it be politically, or what, what have you, dude. There's many, this is why... All of the Russian fi uh, fans, all of the Dagestani fans, all the Muslim fans, they all root for these guys. Even You go to the Middle East, where it's a bunch of like Middle Easterners, they will all root for these white Muslims simply because of their religion. Now, nobody calls them racist or fucking xenophobic or what have you, okay? It's, it's only the West that gets accused of this shit, and I'm fucking sick of it. Because you as a fan should be allowed to not like a certain fighter or even a certain group of fighter based on whatever fucking reason and it literally could be they're from russia i'm from uh the u.s or whatever fuck these guys do you know what i mean that should be perfectly fine the way it would be fine in like olympic hockey or something like that okay but he acts as though there are no legitimate reasons to dislike these guys okay uh, which is just absolute re it's retardation dude it is because no, you know, I as an individual don't have to like every single person. There are going to be things that I find undesirable about people that other people might not care about, right? Everybody's not meant to like everybody. That's not the way of the fucking world. Now, one of the things that I think a lot of people criticize the Dagestani fighters for is not necessarily just the privilege aspect of it, which there is a little bit of that, okay? There is a little bit of that. And some of the counters that he tries to use, some of the the, the matchups that he tries to bring up to act like, well, this actually happens all the time for people, he leaves out a whole bunch of context, right? Like Sean Strickland getting a title shot against Israel Adesanya as if that wasn't a champion handpicking his opponent at the time. The UFC didn't want that. Do you know what I mean? But regardless, I'll... A large criticism that people have of the Dagestani fan base, at least in my opinion, or at least from what I've seen, is, and I'm not talking about Islam Makachev specifically, because I think that Islam Makachev actually, compared to a lot of these guys, is seems a lot more down to earth, has a good sense of humor, is unintentionally funny on many occasions, but... There's sort of this air of moral superiority where they will talk down on people that fight for money as if they weren't lucky enough to have their entire camp funded by like some Russian oligarch up until Habib had made enough money that he could fund it himself. Islam has talked about on many occasions how Habib literally pays for everything, the hotels, the food, everything. So yeah, dude, when you're in a position that you don't need to worry about money because you've got your buddy who's got it all covered... Good for you, dude. But when you're somebody like Alexander Volkanovsky who takes a short notice opportunity and perhaps the added zero on the end of his paycheck weighs into whether or not he took that, I don't know that that's something that should be talked down upon, okay? I think that you are in prize fighting. People are fighting for money. But regardless, dude, Habib did it to Connor. You see it all the time. It's a common theme with these guys, right? Then you get just flat out blatant hypocrisy from them in which they don't get criticized, Okay, because if you do, you are labeled xenophobic, you are labeled Islamophobic, you are labeled racist or whatever the fuck. Right. So we have here. Right. Just a day after, by the way, he put this video out. Russia freezes Habib Nurmagomedov's bank accounts for over three million dollars in unpaid taxes. Okay. Essentially, Habib has been offloading assets onto family members, taking money that he owed to the Russian government, and then purchasing hotels and whatnot in the UAE and Turkey, right? And again, these guys that complain about homophobia, which MMA Joey being one of them, for whatever reason doesn't care about these super Muslim dudes who, you know, are investing in countries that would <whistles> toss them off a fucking rooftop. Do you know what I mean? So, the absolutely insane to me. Either way, dude. So, you've got a guy who shits on people for fighting for money being the ultimate capitalist okay and owing a fuck ton in taxes offloading his assets to make it look like he doesn't have anything and then taking money and putting it into other countries economies right the ultimate capitalist but if you're fighting for money you're not like me i'm fighting for legacy blah blah blah, blah all this bullshit right so there's hypocrisy there right he could literally spend time in jail or the fucking gulag who knows dude right and then we get coffeezilla calling out habib for uh an nft scam right and shit like this we get right absolute hypocrisy once again full-blown capitalist scamming people with nfts making a fuck ton of money off of this shit when 
his whole career, he acted as if none of this is about money. He doesn't care about money. Like, my guy, you made enough money fighting that you don't need to be doing all this shit, right? You just don't. So this is something that I believe a lot of people have an issue with is that these guys act all fucking holier than thou, have this huge air of moral superiority about them, talk down on people for doing things for money or for fighting for money and what have you. And then they are doing shit like this for money or they are not paying their taxes and investing in hotels and what have you to what dude to make more fucking money. Okay. To make more money. Then you get the steroid thing. Okay. Now listen, some of them have been, uh, some of the decisions have been overturned by USADA, although some of them being a little fishy, like Islam Makachev having a prescription for meldonium and USADA saying, well, no, he took it in January, even though they he tested positive for it in April, even though the half life of half life of meldonium, pardon me, is about 15 hours. Okay. So there's weird things about that, but you have got Four dudes from one camp, and if I'm not mistaken, because this was from the end of last year, there might have been another one more recently. Four guys from the same camp, all testing positive for steroids, yet for whatever reason, all getting them overturned, right? And with, as I said, a li kind of suspicious reasons, like meldonium, 15-hour half-life, but it's in his system four months later, and you know for a fact that he hadn't taken it since January, which they, like, it's really weird shit, right? So when you've got a camp that has four guys, at, at least at this time, Usman Magomedov, Islam Makachev, Ruslan Magomedov, and Zubara Tukagov, all test positive in the same camp, right? When we have like the Black Zillions, we know for a fact we're like, that camp was dirty, bunch of the dudes were on it, they all tested positive, we have no problem saying this because that camp was based in America, which by the way, most of these guys are based in America as well. So I don't know why they're getting special treatment just because they wear a fucking fuzzy hat on their head or they pray to Allah five times a fucking day or whatever it is, dude. Okay. Or whatever it is. Also, we can just talk about how culturally, again, some people are just not going to mesh, dude. There are things that I don't like about their culture and that's just, that's fine, dude, because you know what? There's things they don't like about our culture here in the West. And as I just said, that's fucking fine, right? I'm not, I'm allowed to not like certain people based off of whatever fucking reason I want to, right? Point, and, and, and I'm not going to be called racist, uh, xenophobic, Islamophobic, or what have you because of it. When, if these guys were shitting on people from America, it would just be fine. It would just be perfectly fine. Joey would be completely fucking accepting of it. He would not be shitting on the Dagestani fans that literally send death threats when you um, criticize, even in the slightest which way possible, any of the fighters. Do you know what I mean? I don't, you know, I've not really heard of Bryce Mitchell fans, Sean Strickland fans, or Colby Covington fans sending people fucking death threats because they think Bryce Mitchell's, you know, his uh, inbred or something, right? This doesn't happen. It's this fan base that does it. But for whatever reason, that's perfectly fine. But again, if we call out them for steroid use, if we call them out for, you know, fucking literal criminality, if we call them out for NFT scam, scamming your fans, making a bag off of it when you pretend you are some holier than thou, don't give a shit about money ever, right? We are xenophobic. We are Islamophobic. We are racist. And I'm kind of fucking sick of it. If I'm being honest, dude. So fuck MMA Joey, the grifting little fucking bitch. Oh, he's huge, but he's still a little bitch. Okay. Fucking participate in Ramadan, dude. If you're going to suck these guys off so hard. Also, they would just throw you off a rooftop after you fucking sucked off. I don't understand how somebody complained about homophobia and then also be a huge simp for Muslims. It's just unhinged to me and how there are so many people in his fan base that just go along with it. Do you know what I mean? The, it's the, what is that? The paradox of intolerance or the paradox of tolerance. You cannot tolerate everything. It doesn't work like that. You know, how are you going to be tolerant of a worldview that is super intolerant of something that you also believe you should be taught? Like, it's just, it's unhinged to me. And again, calling the fans xenophobic races, all the shit, the isms, the phobias, it's all bullshit. Fuck this guy. Don't listen to him. The 20,000 people that do, I hope you realize one day that this dude's fucking stupid because all the people in his comment section is like, you're the realest ever, blah, 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 blah. Fin finally, somebody's calling this out. How about, hey, Muhammad, hey, fucking Abus or whatever, dude. 
Stop going crazy in the comment section. Stop throwing rocks when we want to criticize one of your dudes, okay? And maybe you, your guys won't catch so much shit, right? This is another thing. Well, I've already gone over it briefly, but fans can make other fans hate certain fighters. This happens all the fucking time, and these guys are one of it, okay? So fuck MMA, Joey. Fuck the Dagestani fans. And dude, you are allowed to not like them, and don't think that you're racist or xenophobic or Islamophobic or whatever the fuck, just because you don't. Anyways, dude, like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.